This is a lecture on pharmacology covering different medications that can be used as therapies for viral hepatitis. Starting off here, we have uh, a drug for hepatitis B called tenofovir. So for this one, in order to remember it, I have <clears throat> a, uh, a note here. I guess I'll cover some of the things about it first, I guess, and then it'll make more sense. So its method of action is to, that it inhibits viral reverse transcriptase and causes chain termination. The adverse effects are renal toxicity, uh, Fanconi-like syndrome, and osteomalacia. Some comments about it is that it's pregnancy category B, which uh, A is the most safe. B means that it eh, could, be, could be possibly unsafe, but more testing would need to be done and lower dose of um, EGFR, less than 50. Okay, so how did I encode this information into a, into a picture? First of all, remembering the name of the drug, tenofovir. I have a picture of a pregnant woman here, and in her, in her um, uh, womb, there are 10 boys. So she's kind of like the octomom, except for not, because she's going to have 10 instead of 8. So 10 boys. Uh, I chose B because pregnancy category B. So 10 boys for B. And uh, so the 10 helps you remember tenofovir. The pregnancy, the fact that she's uh, pregnant, helps you remember the pregnancy category B. And the boys helps you remember the B part. So the reverse, that it inhibits viral reverse transcriptase. I have over here, um, it says high, except for re in reverse. <laughs> That's going to help you remember as she's drawing here, reverse transcriptase. Over here, I also have a B. Uh, that help you remember, this is a hepatitis B drug. So she's saying hi to the B here. Also, just remembering that it's uh, B, the boys, B. Lots of Bs in this one. What about this Fanconi syndrome? So I tried to draw here her right hand kind of going backwards and it's all bony, See this bone, and it's holding a fan. So the bone arm, or the fan represents the Fanconi syndrome, but the bone arm represents osteomalacia. And then chain termination. She has this chain around her neck and it's being terminated, it's being cut off, remember that. So here's the whole thing. Next. We have the drug adofavir, and for adofavir, I I thought A D E ad ad adel. Okay, so <laughs> it works for you, but it doesn't work. Ad, if you see adi, think adel. So, what does it do? It inhibits viral reverse transcriptase and causes chain termination. Um, so again, I have her transcribing something backwards for reverse transcriptase. And I said less as a word here because it's less effective than other similar agents. So she's reverse transcripting less. And this chain around her arm, again, is for uh, chain termination. Here's the B that you know is hovering around her hand here as she's writing. Can't sting her because she's got bone arms. And um, the B is to remind you that it's hepatitis B. And um, the Fanconi-like, uh, the renal toxicity Fanconi-like syndrome, I actually did not include in this. I probably should have. I, I somehow missed that. Maybe you can think, um, yeah, I won't go into there. So, but osteomalacia I did cover with her, her bone arm. Osteomalacia, bad bone. So here's her bad bone arm. And that covers Adi, Adi, Adi Fovir or Adele. Okay, next we have Lami Voodine. And I believe this one was actually also covered in the um, HIV medications, because I remember drawing a llama as well for this. So that here the llama is coming up again. Obviously, Lami, llama, method of action, same as the other ones, in that it requires. Um, Chain, you know, chain termination. This is also for hepatitis B, so lots of bees flying around these llamas. Scares the llama, makes it mad. 
and has a clock for an eye because this is actually uh, a high incidence of long-term resistance. It's a long time eye. That looks like a clock. Uh, pancreatitis, yeah, which is a typical nuisance for adverse effects of an RTI. So I drew its pancreas. You can see on the side. So over here we have the entecavir. Entecavir, however you want to say it. So ent, I drew, or not drew, but I pasted a picture of an ent here, which are these tree people from the Lord of the Rings movies. Same method of action. It's got that chain termination, terminated chain over here. And um, side adverse effects, edema, ascites, headache, fatigue. So for this, you know, he, he's a sad looking guy. He's clearly got a headache. I probably should have drawn an egg up there because eggs lay nests in trees. Head egg probably would have been better. But uh, edema, ascites, and fatigue. He's got this big... Uh, swollen belly, maybe you could think of that as being like an edematous, and he looks really tired, kind of hunched over, so kind of remember this fatigued and hepatitis B, just imagine that a bee hive is, uh, has been made in his one of his branches, as well as the head egg. And um, reverse transcriptase, he's got this kind of backwards looking arm here, reverse arm. And this is uh, cross-resistant to Lame Voodin. So I drew this, this uh, llama over here that he's trying to resist by giving some hay to resist the llama. Next we have uh, viral hepatitis uh, drug, Telvibudin. So Tel-V, kind of reminding me of television. It's hepatitis B, that's what's being shown on here. Boy, I need to spell hepatitis right. <laughs> That's a very different word. Um, and uh, peripheral neuropathy. I drew, tried to draw with really skinny arms, kind of represent this sort of uh, neuropathic <laughs> sort of look of myopathy, also the muscle wasting. So really skinny, skinny arms for peripheral neuropathy or myopathy. And again, the reverse transcriptase she's drawing here. They're transcribing something in reverse as she's watching TV. This is also pregnancy category B, so she's pregnant with a boy as well. I have 10 boys, though. Um, and, uh, again, the chain termination. So only people from the 80s would probably remember ALF, but this is interferon alpha 2. So ALF would always kind of speak up and interfere people. So here's interfering ALF 2B. So he's got two Bs here. Also, the B helps you remember that it's hepatitis B. So what does it do? It inhibits viral penetration. So here's Alf penetrating this virus, this finger penetrating it. And um, the, some of the adverse effects are flu-like syndromes. That's why there's nasty boogers coming out of his nose because he's got the flu. It's flu-like symptoms. And it is not to be used in decompensated cirrhosis. So I drew this big X through this you know, cirrhosis to help remember that. Child pew class, I don't know what that is. Anyway. Next here, we also have pig interferon alpha B. So here's the pig interfering alpha and um, B, hepatitis B, also to remember that. And, uh, you know, same method of action, same adverse effects. It's basically the same as the other one. The only difference is that it's two times the cost. So I draw a $2 bill here to remember that. Next, now we're getting into the hepatitis C. To remember the hepatitis C, I... I put a picture of the C on here. So this one is called ribavarin. So here are three delicious ribs. And you, you remember that there's three ribs, or ribavarin, ribs, obviously. But three ribs is that this is a triple action inhibitor. One, two, three ribs, triple action inhibitor. What is the side effect? Uh, I drew blood dripping off of these ribs. That happens sometimes, you know, when you cook meat. So this bleeding represents hemolytic anemia. And this one is is pregnancy category X, which is absolutely do not use. Bad, bad, bad. This will cause terrible things to happen. So she's saying no. And um, also recognizing that it's an interferon, so she's kind of interfering the cooking of this by saying no. But she's saying no because this is an X, do not use in the case of pregnancy. Even though she's thinking about cooking these next to the C. 
because I'll be remembering hepatitis C. So for this one, nothing more fun for a kid than to be out by the sea playing in a bouncy palace. So Bosi Previr kind of maybe sounds like bouncy palace, maybe maybe not. But these are very expensive. It's expensive to go out by the sea and bounce in a bouncy palace. Uh, you might have to be have so much money that you'd be a pro basketball player, which is what this represents, is that it's an oral protease inhibitor. It's very expensive to get a bouncy palace out by the sea. And um, also, sometimes kids get injured at the bottom. Of these. There's a bunch of blood down here. That represents the uh, blood is the anemia, That's which is a common side effect. The method of action for this one also uh, is the NS3A4. That'll come up a lot, so I thought this now seats three, so three people can go down the slide, and it's for ages four and up for this bouncy house, NS3A4. So this is another hepatitis C met drug, and this one is an oral protease inhibitor. So... Uh, for this one, I, I drew the pro. If I remember, it's oral pro TA, so he's got a little pro thing. He wants. He also wants to go to the sea, but he knows he needs to have so much money. He should probably be a pro basketball player if he wants to go to the sea. So he's going to call up his agent on the telephone for tel teleprevere and uh, and see if he can if he can get the money. But it's very expensive to, to call an agent with the money over here. And this one, I tried to have you imagine the little numbers on the dials. The numbers you see are three and four. I hope you remember NS3 and A4. So that's the method of action of this one. And this guy actually finds out that he can't become a pro basketball player, not because it's too expensive, but because he has a really bad rash, as you can see on his hand, and also some bone marrow suppression. So it's not going to work out for him. So this next one is uh, also another chronic hepatitis C drug, oral protease inhibitor, Simaprevir, Sim. So you think of the Sim as the, for the Sims. Okay, this is Sims 4. It's uh, it's 3. It's newer than Sim 3, excuse me. Uh, newer than Sim 3, so NS3. I remember NS3A4, it is Sims 4. But also, it need, needs to be used for kids age 4 and up to play this game. And... Um, you also can't uh, play it past the age of 80, so they do a little test here to uh, for the Q80 gene uh, because if you play this game, if you're over 80, then you get a rash and pruritus, as this guy has. So rather than playing this game, you should probably go out by the sea somewhere and enjoy your time rather than just playing this game, Sims. There's this old guy who's going to go to the sea, he's got a gene test to see if he's over 80. And... Um, school in this game, the Sims game, you can do anything you want. You can even be a pro basketball player in this game because you can do anything in Sims. So this is also a protease inhibitor. Another drug for chronic hepatitis C is Peritoprevir. So here's a parrot, okay, and this parrot is actually uh, three years old. Um, but, you know, he's, it's his birthday today, they're throwing a party, that's why he's wearing this Viking party hat, because he's just turned age four, actually, so an S3A4, if you remember the age of the parrot, and unfortunately, though, this, this parrot partied a little too hard in his Viking hat, and, uh, now he has a rash, and this parrot is actually belongs to a, it's the most intelligent parrot in the world, belongs to a professional basketball player, pro basketball player, remember, protease inhibitor. And uh, he comes from uh, down South America in a place by the sea. So here's a picture of the sea to help him remember hepatitis C, but also make him happy. That's where he came from. And the Viking hat has to do because this is only found in the Vikira pack. It's a Viking hat, Vikira pack. Another chronic hepatitis C drug, um, Ombi Tesevere. Ombi kind of sounds like Gumby to me. So I know it's a stretch, but I could not think of anything else. Sorry. Ombi Gumby. There it is. So Gumby. Gumby wearing his Viking hat. Uh, didn't know this, but uh, Gumby is actually a professional basketball player. He's a pro. And um, after he finished his life in movie business, Gumby or Ombi decided to uh, join the National Security Association. So he got a gun, 
so he could, you know, be secure or whatever. And uh, that stands for NSA, National Security Association, NS5A. There it is. And he's going to retire and do security out by the sea. All right, Leddy Pasvir. So lead. Here's lead. Kind of think of this. So for this one, this is also an oral protease inhibitor. Some people are pros. Oops, are pros in basketball. I'm actually going to edit this picture a little bit because I did not put that in a good place. There it is, a little better. Um, so I get pros at playing this game. Eat lead. Uh, when you when you uh, shoot somebody with lead, you send them to heaven. So this is only in Harvoni. Okay. And uh, another important thing to know about lead is that it's used for fishing weights in the sea. So hepatitis C, lead's used for fishing in the sea. And also, you know, if you're going to shoot guns like this, you might as well join the National Security Association Foundation. Or association. Oops, probably should fix that as well. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. Okay, darn it. I put it on an image. So National Security Association, NSA, NS5A. There it is. This next one, the uh, there's, this is an antivirus software that I use. It's called Sophos. Works great. Um, so here's Sophos for Sophos Bouvier. So it says, be careful when surfing the web. So surfing out in the sea. So surfing the web, internet, sea, out in the sea, in the web. Yeah. And that helps remember hepatitis C because you're surfing out on the, on the web in the sea. And uh, it says, be careful online. Uh, this one is not an NS5A. It is an NS5B. Do not think of hep hepatitis B when you think of this. Be careful online. NS5B. Uh, Net security 5B. Net security 5B. Not, not, uh, not hepatitis B. This is hepatitis C for surfing the web. Also, this one inhibits... Um, NS5B RNA dependent RNA polymerase. So I put this picture of a strand of RNA down here. I hope you remember that this inhibits RNA dependent polymerase. And I think this might be the last one here. This is uh, Dasa Bouvier. So Dasa, Dasani. Is it kind of like Dasani? The, the water. Okay, so you think water, where does water come from? The sea, hepatitis C, Dasani comes from the sea, hepatitis C. And this is also only available in the, the, uh, the Viking or the Vicura pack. And um, I don't understand this indicated only for genotype 1 HCV, but yeah, remember that as well. And that is the end.